backlash against The Rock is getting out of control. People are accusing him of using steroids and lying about his success. But will John Cena finally be the one to expose him? When The Rock attacked Cena, everyone thought it was fake. We had really? problems with each other. And The Rock made it personal when he went after Cena's wife. The Rock's got a true story about Cena. The Rock humiliated him in front of millions, and weeks later, he was divorced. Now he's fighting back and going after The Rock. Will John Cena finally expose The Rock? John Cena, The Rock's Twitter blew up. Hundreds of thousands of tweets. The Rock's Facebook blew up with the link. John Cena's been talking trash about The Rock. Let The Rock put a nail in the coffin right now. This seems staged. WWE is known for their fake feuds. That's what a lot of people thought. But this was real. They even admitted it. We really? had real problems with each other. I just don't like the guy personally. What were their problems? When The Rock left wrestling to follow his dream of acting, John felt like he was abandoning WWE. Coming up as a wrestler, John actually looked up to The Rock. We had a wonderful star, was known as the People's Champion, and went by The Rock. As a fan, I thought he was always one of, if not the most gifted performer to ever step in the ring. As an adult, John put his wrestling dreams before everything, and that includes his wife Liz. And when he finally got the chance to wrestle alongside his hero, The Rock suddenly left. He just said, deuces, and left WWE, saying you love the gig and you love the business. Um, show a little bit more respect. He said, just don't f me around and tell me that you love this when you're just doing this to do something else. That's the only thing that gets me really pissed off. He just doesn't give back to anything. Wait, didn't John become an actor as well? Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Yes, that's the problem. And The Rock actually called him out for it. It's starting a major fight between them. When you run The Rock down about being an actor, something I love, about being the people's champion, something else I love, yeah, your two-faced ass has been trying to do the exact same thing for years. And soon the media and fans turned on John, siding with The Rock. John Cena is doing the same thing he bashed The Rock for, which makes him a f***ing hypocrite. This is one of the reasons why I don't like John Cena. Instead of apologizing, John kept insisting he was different, instead of just letting The Rock do what was best for him. He just left to go be a movie star. I've done some movies and I've, I've managed to um, keep my WWE obligations, so I know it can be done. He just left us kind of hanging. John and The Rock decided to settle their fight in the ring, but he had no idea what he was getting himself into when The Rock performed a song about him in front of millions. You want to hear a little gossip? It's a true story about Cena. Rock saw Cena making out with Eve. I guess he didn't tell her that he's got a wife. Yeah, that's a real brutal call out. Uh, but who's Eve? Eve was a fellow wrestler in the WWE. Wow, that's bad. Yeah, and John was humiliated. But what nobody knew is that his wife was already worried that he was cheating on her. The one thing that he was desperate to hide now was being exposed on TV. And soon after, John was the one that filed for divorce. It is something that is entertaining, of course. One person throwing a shot to the other person. But there is a possibility of an escalation, of things getting a bit personal, to where it can ruin the relationship. And now that work was all he had, he put all of his time and all his focus there. And part of the work seemed to be with his new relationship with another female wrestler, Nikki Bella. Will you marry me? What do you mean? Well, the relationship was actually a storyline for WWE. And they had a reality show. But when John wouldn't give Nikki what she wanted, things started to fall apart. Yeah. I won't have kids. Well, John doesn't want kids, so we're not gonna have kids. You are the number one grantor of Make-A-Wish. 650 <laughs> wishes. I think you would make, like, kind of the world's greatest father. Just because you might be good at something is, for me, is not a strong enough reason to do that. I really thought I was okay not being a mom, and I've just come to the realization that I can't, I'm not okay with it. John was only thinking about what he wanted, and because of that, Nikki actually called off the wedding. Desperate to save his relationship, he went on live TV to make his feelings known. I had my heart broken out of nowhere. I still love Nicole. I still mm. would love to marry Nicole. I still would love to have a family with Nicole. Here's John on the Today Show making this heartfelt plea. Was there any part of you that thought, I wish you would have just given me a phone call instead of told the world? I mean, of course. It's not really fixing the situation. It's just amplifying it, trying to get a reaction from her. It was too late, and she broke up with him for good. 
As devastated as John was, it made him stop and realize that he'd been so focused on what he wanted that he wasn't able to see what other people needed from him or what they needed to be happy. Stubborn, self-focused. Life had always been about me, and it took a very strong look in the mirror for me to be like, why? He did the most selfless thing that he could do, and he let Nikki go and do what was best for her. She needs to be happy. I'm pregnant. I have wanted to be a mom my whole life. I think he realized that it was important to be able to let people go because it was the best thing for them. Exactly. And because of that, he could finally see the real reason he'd been attacking The Rock. As a fan of the WWE, I felt cheated. This people's champion had turned his back on me. Now in looking back, I was just being a selfish fan and I wanted my Rock to stay in my universe. He has done so much more for our industry, for guys like myself, by going out there and showing the world, like pro wrestlers, there's a lot more to us. When the media and the fans started to turn on The Rock, John saw how he handled the backlash. Joe Rogan has been on The Rock's case about using steroids to achieve his kind of physique. The Rock claiming, no, actually, Black Adam's doing just great. Well, a lot of people are able to see right through that. The Rock admitted to using steroids, saying, I tried it when I was 18 or 19 but he wouldn't back down from claiming his film was a success. John could have been like The Rock, doing anything to make sure his acting career was a success. But instead, he focused on giving back to his fans so they wouldn't feel abandoned by him. Nobody's granted more make-a-wishes than you. Where did that compassion come from? I'm able to see the joy it brings not only to the children, to the families, and that joy equals hope, and hope can sometimes move mountains. By allowing others to do what's best for them, John made amends with The Rock. We had a great rivalry. Now, what's great, he's one of my best friends. He said you guys used to be rivals. True. Now you're friends. Yes. I, I've been honest enough to lean into my failures. When you're the problem, you got to lean into it, you got to solve it.